everyone welcome to another episode of button mashers um i gotta tell you man i don't know if i'm ever gonna complete uh nascar thunder 2003 season mode i think it's pretty much canceled and there's a specific reason for that um uh, before i begin let me actually get the uh music up here kind of kind of kind of need that it should be important here uh i don't even know where i put my music <laughs> That's not good. Uh, is that it in here? I swear it's in here. No, I'm in. I'm in the wrong thing here. Uh, no, it, it it is right. I'm I'm right here. Okay, here it is. I think that's good. And uh, are we on the loop here? Repeat all. Cool. I think that's loop. <laughs> no idea. We'll find out. Because we got NASCAR Thunder 2004. Which is... Huh? Uh... Okay. I'm not using fucking... I'm not using that anymore. I'm using fucking this going forward. That's ridiculous. I'm using a media player, because that just fucking crashed on me. Okay. I believe the gameplay works. Oh, no. Look at that. Yeah, see? Look at this. Yeah, that don't look good. Hold on. Paste. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I'm just making sure that all this is ready to go here. Camera's cool. Just gameplay. Okay. Yep. So. For those who are uninitiated, NASCAR Thunder is the best racing series, sports racing series in the U.S., that has ever been done, made by Electronic Arts. Um, you've probably already seen NASCAR Thunder 2003, but while that game can be fun, there was some stuff that was severely lacking. This game corrects that. Um, I had this on easy difficulty, because I kinda just wanna cruise, you know? Show off the tracks, show off the gameplay enjoy ourselves here um i just realized i should probably turn my volume all the way up here and i'm gonna do that now because we're actually streaming here hit okay sounds like it works cool just i gotta make sure <laughs> i can never i can never be too sure with this shit okay yeah 100 percent cool just double checking so we started the Daytona 500 season mode. Uh, I call this, by the way, since uh, this is all a bunch of custom seasons, I call this the NASCAR Countrywide Tour, uh, where we go from place to place to place to place to place, uh, but kind of in a roundabout way throughout the entirety of the U.S. I almost called it a world tour, but then I realized, wait a minute. They don't go to UK, even though they fucking should if they want to do road course racing. Just me. Um, so here, here's the updated... You can see I'm on 2005. So I'm on around the time where um, Nextel Cup, it would have been called, instead of the Winston Cup. Um, 
So people that have retired, Kevin LePage, Ken Schrader, and Todd Bodine, as well as Mike Skinner and Bill Elliott. Now, I know three of these were replaced. Kevin, LePla uh, Kevin LePage was replaced by Kevin Grubb. Ken Schrader was replaced by 37 car driver David Green. And Todd Bodine uh, had his car taken over by a guy named Ashton Lewis, who I guess is a guy they main up in the game. Uh, and I noticed that the more you play the season mode, the more things change. Which I think is fucking great out of detail. Uh, so we're gonna have some fun with this. Shall we? We're gonna start off with, uh, some NASCAR here. Classic NASCAR on the Daytona 500. I, uh... Played the Pepsi 400 uh, before I decided to go live with 2005 season mode um, because uh, I wanted to kind of change everything up a little bit and see how things play out. And I've already won two championships in this mode, so there you go. I'm greatest racer of the day. So here we go. I believe the car setup is the same, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So here we go. You have to like really pay attention. I shouldn't even be really talking. So pardon me if I'm actually, I don't know what it is, but this music is really loud. There we go. That's a little bit less loud. Okay, restart again. No, don't get off that line. Can't get off that line. I want pull, I want pull, I want pull, I want pull! That's not getting pull. Fuck. Should be alright. Stand on that line, stay on that line, stay on that line. It's okay. I'm not on the line, but I am doing okay. As long as I maintain speed here, which is the fucking pain in the ass in this track, honestly. This is like the biggest pain in the ass is the fucking speed and momentum here. I think I got it though. Yeah, buddy! Pole position. All right. So now I can just quit. Uh, we'll play Gatorade 125. I think you get, like, extra money if you win this, so... At least that's what I'm led to believe here. Plus, there's good testing for my music here. Keep it at 22. It sounds like good. Well, let's see how they'll line up for the start. In the front row are the 195 car and the Home Depot Chevrolet. Okay, it works. Wow. Holy fuck. I don't know what the hell happened there. So yeah, this is actually pretty tough too on easy. Although it was even fucking tougher on hard and legendary. Oh boy. Cause you don't get the same amount of speed as everybody else. And uh you have all these cars and behind you pretty much. Oh 
Holy fuck. So you have to like do a lot of blocking. And I kinda like that. It makes the races tougher. By the way, my right stick has been completely disabled on this emulator. I actually have, um, because I'm using PSS X2 to play this game. And to put in perspective, the right stick actually does the same controls as the button inputs for some damn reason. So I completely disabled that and just made those my arrow keys. Oh shit, Tony. Made a little bit of a rival on him, but I want to keep that the way it is. I want to get too dirty on the first race. I don't want to like start rivalries in the beginning. Probably gonna have to. It's pretty inevitable, especially on the track. Oh shit! It was a wreck behind me. I saw that. I saw that in the rear view. I don't even know what it was. I don't even know what it was like, but it looked like a rough wreck, dude. Holy shnikey. I gotta... I gotta really, like... There we go. That's three wide behind me. And here we go. Okay. First caution. What the hell happened? I saw it a little bit. Huh? Well, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. His... Something happened to his car. To the point where the pixels are fucked. <laughs> Alright, that's not that bad. He just spun out. Hit no. turn the volume down just a little bit. Hopefully I don't crash on the turn here because I'm doing this. Uh, put it at like 80. Put it at 92. Alright, I done. Cool. Number 40 is going low. There's Sterling Marlin on my ass. And it's Sterling Marlin dodge. Wow, I had to really do some blocking there, holy fuck. Yeah, look at that, Sterling Marlin is racing pretty good here. Oh shit, I didn't even realize it's green, white, checkered, and Tony Stewart is right up here. Oh no! I still blocked, I still blocked. Holy fuck. And we got the field coming at us here. We got the Tide Pontiac. Ricky Craven's behind me. Jeremy Benson is. Tony Stewart. Ford. Holy fuck! What a fucking race this has been. I like this. That's a win. Great job. And I won. Late changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I was like, wait, am I doing the actual race? And I re <laughs> forgot. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Ran in clean air pretty much all race long. Yeah, no doubt he deserves the victory. What an incredible race for all the guys on that team.
All right. So I got pole position. Race. Well, here we are at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Winston Cup Series premier event. This is Joe Moore, and I'm with Barney Hall to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage on MRN. This track is known by everyone, race fan or not, but for these race teams, it's a glory all its own when you can get a win here. Well, you're right. To have your name mentioned as a former winner here at Daytona puts you on a list with some drivers that these guys have admired since they were kids. Rusty Wallace is one of those drivers who always seems to be running up front. He's had an incredible run of success in winning races and finishing in the top 10 in points. Add to that a solid qualifying program, and it's no big surprise that Rusty is one of NASCAR's winningest drivers. Sadler and Ricky Rudd changed wides after the 2002 season, with Sadler joining Robert Yates Racing. That team is really excited about this year. With a new driver and sponsor, they want to make a good start right out of the box. What do you mean, new sponsor? They have M&M's. I mean, I guess. NASCAR Bush Series in 2001. He started all 33 races that year and posted five wins. Every f another added detail I love about this game, every home of the brave, which is the end of the national anthem, an airplane to go overhead is fucking different. That's really, really cool. Down. The what the fuck just went down? Depot, oh my god! What just happened? Yo! Starting the race from row three are the Yo, the game glitched! The fourth row has the Motorcraft Ford and the singular wireless Chevrolet. Wait! Starting the race I'm so confused! We just had two wrecks on pit road because I thought the race started. I, I, I swear we did. Fuck it, just just go. I guess. What the hell happened? That was the weirdest fucking glitch I've ever seen in a video game. That was fucking funny, but like at the same time, what the hell? I hope my game's not busted. That was fucking unbelievable what I just saw. That was so weird. Alright, we got 10 laps on this. That was the most odd thing I've ever seen. I've never seen that in my life. We just had two cars just, like, go directly down in the pit road for no reason. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, shit, Ricky. Woo! <laughs> Nice block. Fucking hell. I'm gonna try to race as clean as possible. No need to, like, go super rough with everything, you know? Whoa! Block him, block him, block him, block him! Oh boy! There's Sterling Marlin, Elliot Sad, or no, is that Elliot? No, that's Ricky Rudd. Elliot Sadler, Ricky Craven, he's right here. Oh boy. Tony Stewart, Sterling Marlin, Jimmy Johnson, Robbie Gordon. I think Dale's up there. Jeremy Benson, Johnny Benson, rather. Is that Michael Waltrip too? Jesus. Okay.
Whoa! Fuck! Not what I was trying to do. But luckily I didn't add to my rivalry with Tony Stewart. I just had a little bit of a fender bender there. By the way, if you like this theme song, uh, it's one of the theme songs for Live Rounds. Done by Nikolai Johnson. Go check it out. If you haven't already. I know I will be. Because it's actually, the time I'm recording this is, uh, Tuesday. So, I highly suggest y'all give it a watch. Wow. Field kind of scattered a bit, huh? Weird. We have, uh, now, now it's kind of catching up. We have... Number 32 wants to get by you. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Jimmy Johnson now. We got we got we got a new crew. Kinda. Oh. We went from Home Depot to Lowe's. Sheebus. Got rubber made here. Oh, uh, that's why. Tony Stewart got fucked. Blew out his engine, apparently. I hope that doesn't happen to me in one of these races, but I'm pretty sure even if it does, my blocking skills could probably still help me. Oh, I'm aware. Let me show you who I am. I'm James, and I will ride the 195. I like my car. My car actually looks like it blends in, even though it's like Christmas to shit. Got O'Reilly as my sponsor on the back, Coca-Cola on the front. I got, um... Monte Carlo on the sides, even though it's also on the front. I think it adds to the car, though. Fuck. That wasn't supposed to happen, but I still blocked it. Forget your pain. Rock music with racing is great. No! Fuck you, Jimmy! O'Reilly's better than Napa Auto Parts. Oh, fuck! Sharper made rubber. Whoa! That was bad. See? Like, anything like that can happen. And now he's way ahead. Oh shit, I might have lost this race. Oh, that's not good. Can I, can I get back to it? No way. I might be able to, but we're, we're gonna try. If I can keep straight on the straightaway, I might be able to pass Jimmy Johnson. Oh, I'm losing ground? I have no idea why. Oh. Okay, I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. Yep, there we go. Now I just have to ride his draft the whole way. And I can't afford to screw up here. 
If I win this race, I gotta do it, like, now. I gotta just... There we go, I'm riding this draft. I'm getting there. I think if I let go now... We got it! Fuck yeah, buddy! We actually had a bit of a race there. That was cool. Had a bit of a fuck up, but we got there in the end. I won. Despite a little damage to my car. Led the most laps, too. I hate the fact that this music can't be muted, though. finish the fans love to see wow you know you're right that was an incredible finish to an even more incredible race this nascar winston cup series is so exciting to watch the coca-cola car is the big winner in this one and rightfully so he was fast all race long that whole team deserves a lot of credit for a great win the 195 car has someone new to look out for on race yeah the 97 guy i couldn't even help it i just i didn't realize it was going to happen they'll be back to racing with clear Heads. I'm just gonna let this do its thing. And then I'll keep playing. Better luck next time, G. Ooh, I got 12 uh, as Jimmy Johnson's. I'm Jim Johnson's ally. Alright, let's see here. Alright, we got Tiburon 500. That's what's next here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch for the actual starting lineup again. Cause that was wild. I'm a G when it comes to the guap. I get M's when I play. I get M's when I stop. I get blamed when I trade the devil for thy letters. But they go like that medicine pairs. Start a phone like 10 piece. Then I get the bad that I popped from last week. I gonna lean on that wrong way. Two way clean on that one way. Feeling like I'm out an F on the key on my ball when I need me. They never play me before. Now they're feeling me. Diamonds, I know she a door when I'm dealing them. I'm rolling heavy. Don't try to press. Make you ugly like bay. Jeff Jones? Or Jay Jones? That's a new racer. I wanna I wanna check the stats here. So the standings. There are obviously some cars here. I think Hermie Sadler is one of the replacers. No. No, he was just in there already. Chase Montgomery. I think he might be a replacement. He might be. Fantasy team, New York, New York. Okay. So Pete Nelson. Pete Nelson replaced, I would assume, Mike Skinner. Bill Elliott was replaced by 176. Whoever the hell is driving that. Where is he at? 
Oh, he got some points on the board, didn't he? Did he? Where is the other one? Huh. Why can't I find him? I saw him in one of the things. There he is, J.R. Jones. Ah, I think you're a fucking liar. <laughs> J.R. Jones. Okay. So that's who replaced these drivers. So we're just going up into the hundreds here. Okay. Well, it should be interesting to see these cars. So that's weird. Okay, cool. Um, now we know. Uh, race weekend here. Tiburon Super Speedway. Another fucking hard speedway here. Although not as hard as Daytona, but qualifying on here is a pain in the ass. Like, big time pain in the ass. Like, I never get pull on this. So, I'm gonna try and change that. Let's uh, just go with default setup here. Let's go with that. I want to try and do a couple practice laps. Wow, that was a really tight way I turned. It actually might help me though, because... Then that will keep me straight on the, um, on the line here. It actually might be a perfect setup here. But, I don't know why it's not on track here. Track. Thank you. This fucking thing goes fast. It still goes up to the wall here. Looks like it's okay. Huh.
Let's see how much. 45A34. Yeah, no. I need I need more speed, that's what I need here. So fuck it. We're gonna go. The handling's gonna be all fucked, but I'm gonna try and adjust it as much as I can here. Alright. We're gonna try qualify. It's tight, but it's doable. Oh, wow. Alright, no, that, that might not be. Hold on. Gonna try that again. Fuck. Oh, wow. Okay. Why did my fucking speed just drastically go down? I have it on complete speed here, right? I swear this just made it worse. Like, it just got a lot worse. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm gonna just go with default setup and see if that does anything, to be honest. Because this is actually just pissing me off now. Qualify. Yeah, it's fucking god damn the handling is shitty. Ah. Fucking Tiburon, dude. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I had more speed before. Right here was good, good shit. Try that. Qualify now. I'm able to stay on the green a lot more. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, don't, don't lose that, don't lose that. Yeah, 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 there we go. Keep that speed, keep that speed, keep that speed. Keep it on the line! Yeah, no way. Fuck! God damn it! I can never fucking qualify here on the front! Dude, no matter what fucking setting it is, I can't fucking qualify. Dude, that's so infuriating. Fuck this goddamn track. Fantasy my ass, pain in my ass, that's what it is. Ugh. Fuck it, I'm a cheat. See if that does anything. Ah! What a fucking nightmare. Try this. This doesn't matter. I have to drift in the fucking thing here. It's the only track that I have trouble with. MRN welcomes you to another NASCAR Winston Cup race. This time from the Tiburon Super Speedway in Orlando, Florida. This is a huge track, isn't it, Barney? Well, Joe, this place is three miles long. It's wide and it's fast. There won't be any restrictor plates slowing them down today either. I can't wait for this one. 2002 was supposedly an off-season for Jeff Gordon with three wins and a fourth-place points finish. 
You know, that just goes to show you what's expected out of this team with three wins and 19 top tens. There are a lot of teams that would not mind having Gordon's off year. The 195 car is getting aggressive on the track with some other drivers. Every driver in Winston Cup has had a bit of trouble on the racetrack at one time or another. As long as they keep their composure, everything should work out okay. Sterling Marlin picked up Rookie of the Year honors in 1983, but it took him over... I saw that um, fantasy car that is in there. Fashion. If you have to wait that long to pick up a win, you might as well make it a big one. And Sterling mm. did with a win in the 1994 Daytona 500. What the hell? Why did that happen? Whoa! I had to go into that groove, actually. You know what they say, oh, oh, fuck. Not what I was trying to do, but we'll take it. I think I kind of dimmed down my speed a bit. Which means I might have to close this out. And then restart, because I'm not feeling confident with this. Oh, well, I'm getting up there. I'm getting up there. I didn't lose speed. Come on, buddy. There we go. Whoa! I'm trying to. Number 38 is outside. Alright. Should get right in front of Jeff here. Had to kind of bump him a bit. Alright. We're up in front now. That wasn't that difficult. Now it's just maintaining the lead that's going to be a pain. Because everybody's going so fast here. Holy shit! What? Whoa, 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 Alright. I think I can get the, uh... The most laps led if I keep focus here. Which will give me more bonus points. Men not have led the first lap, but I gotta lead this lap good. For five bonus points completely without, without problems. Which I'm doing okay so far doing. And then... From there, I have to, um... Whoa. I might not be able to. Okay, yeah, I can. So, five bonus points there, I'm pretty sure. And now, I have to... From there, I have to, um, lead the rest of the race, because then I'll get five more bonus points for leading the most. 
And that's gonna be uh, easier said than done here. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck me! Oh! Don't crash into the wall or any other racers. Keep blocking the fuckers. Trying to get at me. Oh, that wasn't a good one. I got to pass Jeff again. I think I did. Okay, okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Alright, 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 alright. Keep that going, keep that going, keep that going. Fuck! Now Del Jared is up there! Whoa! Oh, Ashton Lewis got, um, got hurt. And there's the 175 car. That's J.R. J.R. Johnson. I didn't realize how fucking much I was going to have to block here. 48. He's all over my back bumper. Keep that going. Oh, fuck. Jimmy Johnson, I'm gonna fuck you. Oh wait, he's my uh, teammate right now. All right, we're cool. All right, Jimmy Johnson was my rival last time, but we're okay. Alright, turn three and four seems to be my worst fucking turns here. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it straight, keep it straight. There we go. Oh, fuck. Alright, I, I had to bump you a little bit, Jimmy. Wow. I had to really concentrate on that. Oh my god. That's new. Nice little celebration to blow my engine out. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, I guarantee you there's at least 35 or 40 other drivers who wish they had seen the lead. The Coca-Cola car doesn't look any different than when he started this race. You know, these NASCAR Winston Cup race teams absolutely love drivers who take care of their cars. Makes their jobs a whole lot easier when they aren't having to spend extra hours in the body shop each week. I'm just gonna do that. Just cause I don't wanna have to keep pausing the music during the celebration stuff. 
But I do want to see me with the damn trophy, so. This fucking song rules. Alright, so I got two allies, and I got two rivals. One went down, one just started. Not too bad. I can't wait to get to these. These fantasy tracks are fucking tough, but they're also really cool. Small Speedway, I don't know why I keep unlocking these when I've already unlocked them, but uh, some, uh Sawmill Speedway is fucking awesome. You race through a forest. Pretty damn cool, in my opinion. The thing I'm curious about is the actual light like, glitch that I saw in Daytona. Does it happen now? Because if so, that's fucking hilarious. It must be those damn fantasy cars, man. The rookies. In fact, I almost bet that it was. That'd be fucking funny. Alright, let me see here. Everything about this game, by the way, has super huge detail. Like, as far as... Like video games from back then are concerned. Like, there's a ton of fucking detail in here. I'm gonna try that out. Um, yeah, just qualify, really. Whoops. Okay. Really shouldn't have fucked with that, I don't think. Where is it? Okay. There. Probably okay now. Cool. We got it. Welcome to the Homestead Miami Speedway. This is what always ends the year, so it's gonna be kind of fucky. I'm here with Barney Hall. NASCAR ran its first race here in 1999. What do you think of this track? Well, with the new additions this year, I expect a different race than we're used to. Usually, speeds are relatively tame due to the flatness of the racetrack. But with the new banking added this year, you could expect speeds to be much, much quicker. Oh! Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. Oh shit, I'm uh... I'm right next to this guy. Let's 
different. Now, let's take a look at the starting lineup. The 195 car, the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will be starting for the pole. R. Parker. The oh, that's a new car, one. The 172 car and the DeWalt Power Tools Ford. Oh, wow. It's just a bunch of rookies here. Plus me. I mean, I'm kind of a veteran by this point. What the hell? The fourth row has the 23 car and the Dale Jr. Chevrolet. Starting the race from row five will be the Home Depot Chevrolet and the Pfizer Ford. In row six, we have the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. The only one, the only Dodge Starting from row seven, to actually survive. Ford and the ten car. In the eighth row are the singular wireless Chevrolet and the Citgo Ford. Uh, excuse me. In the ninth row, we have the U.S. Army Pontiac and the Tide Pontiac. In the 10th row are the Haviland Dodge and the DuPont Chevrolet. Hmm. Starting the race from row 11 are the UAW Delphi Chevrolet and the 21 car. The 12th row has the Team Rusty Dodge and the Target Dodge. Starting the race from row 13 will be the Caterpillar Dodge and the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. In row 14, we have the Net Zero Pontiac and the America Online Chevrolet. Starting from row 15 will be the One Car and the Cheerios Dodge. In the 16th row are the 16 Car and the Kellogg Chevrolet. Huh. In the 17th row are the Dr. Pepper Dodge and the Georgia Pacific Dodge. In the 18th row are the 27 car and the UPS Ford. This is weird. Starting the race from row 19 are Did they change again? The Interstate Battery Chevrolet. The 20th row has the David Green Pontiac and the Odapan Ford. Starting the race from row 21 will be the Lowe Chevrolet and the Bam Racing Dodge. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the O2 car. All right, here we go. Whoa. This is so weird. No drivers that I recognize. That's great, in a way. Ah, oh, here's Michael Waltrip. I recognize him. Oh yeah, that's right. That's usually how I fucking do it. Yeah, I'm cheating like a bastard here. To get ahead of the field here. Because that way they can't ride my draft and I'm way ahead. Wee! Fuck all y'all bitches. I'm going to dominate the race. This is working pretty well. You're flying out there, buddy. Good job. Ten to go.
I'm so cheating. <laughs> but hey, it's season, not career. I. By the way, shout out to the people that can do career. Because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> or at least I don't have time for that. Fucked up. Oh, I remember that was Todd Bodine. I don't know who that is now in this game, anyway. Well, there goes those rookies. Big time, big time, big time. They're gone. They are gone, gone. I don't know how far away they are, but they have been passed. Shit. I think we won this race by like a fucking landslide. This is the one track I was able to like get away from the fucking pack. Or one of the few. I think there's a couple tracks. But like now I can kind of afford to make mistakes. I just can't crash my car and like completely wreck it, but you know. We 
Yeah, baby. Yeah, none of the rookies are there. Wow. They were in the race. And then they weren't. Come on, damn it. All right, there we go. Not many drivers led a lap in this race. Well, to be honest, Joe, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. Just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you really can dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup race. The Coca-Cola car truly dominated this race. Now this was a race he'll always remember. What a Damn great right. It must be to win a race in such a dominant fashion. That me. Damn right. That me. I get the victory. I won Ford 400 with a Chevy. Fuck you, Ford. I won. Yeah. Do the sort of thing. Do the thing. Do the fucking thing. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell, bro? He didn't do the fucking sort of shaky thing. Bullshit. The fuck is that? Come the fuck on, man. Alright, configure. Audio. Turn it all the way up to 92. Okay. Well, I have no ally in Kevin Harvick anymore. But I have an ally in Jimmy Johnson still. So that's about all there really is to it. Cool. Oh, here comes a dominating, another domination, domination. Nobody's going to be able to beat me on this fucking road course. Unless I fuck up like royally because I'm streaming, which could very well happen here. Dave Dunn. That must be a new guy, right? How did you all fucking lose? What the hell is this? And where did all these fantasy drivers come from? I swear there was only a few. Oh, this is weird. Fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just race. I'll just qualify. And get the pole. Dude, that was so fucking weird. Like, I swear there wasn't that many new drivers. I swear there wasn't. Let's win. Cheating! Oh wow, no I'm not. Now I'm cheating. I honestly want to restart that because that's going to be a bad omen for the race if I don't.
Cheating. Alright, uh, that's better. The uh, time I'm looking for. We're live from the Talladega Super Speedway for today's NASCAR Road Race. Joe and Barney once again here to bring you all of today's action. We're in for a treat today. This course has a great layout to it, and how often do these guys make a right turn at Talladega? The answer is never until today, that is. The fans are ready, so am I. This is going to be a lot of fun. The Coca Cola car has really shown some muscle in its qualifying this year. Well, you can't win if you don't finish, and the best way to finish is to start up front and stay there all race long. Casey Mears just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in the race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. Chase Montgomery is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Yep, there's a rookie. That looks like he's racing Joe Moore's Pontiac. I want to see that car. Because it's a McDonald's Pontiac, so... And I know that's uh, Joe Moore's car. Who's racing it, though? In row three are the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford and the Motorcraft Ford. In row four are the 32 car and the U.S. Army Pontiac. 127. Rounding out the top ten starting spots are it's the him! 27 car and the America on It's literally just Joe Moore. He's calling his own car. Oh, my God. That's fucking hilarious. Ha! Joe Moore is announcing and racing in this game. That was a better uh, overall thing. That may have been the fastest I've ever gotten there, to be honest. Holy fuck, I almost ran into that. Wow. Dominating that lap.
pretty fun. Although, I'm way ahead of the pack here. the pen on the wall a bit. But not too bad. Wee! Ah, it's smooth sailing. You love to see it. How's the car feel? You love to see it. So I don't fucking crash. Because that would have been shitty. Like, I get that fucking lead, and then I crash. <laughs> Just because I fuck up on the turns on there. You know? Not good. Wow! Oh! Whoa! Holy fuck, there it is! Luckily, I think I'm okay. Jesus Christ! I took my chances with that too much. Party left. Let's try to race a little cleaner. You're clear. Thank God it was just a fender thing. Oh my God, that was rough. I genuinely think I have a lot of damage on my car. That was that was not a good. I almost caused a caution lap, to be honest. Not what I was expecting, honestly. I fucked that up bad. I'm like four seconds behind my pace here. 60, 45. Good job. We just glanced the most laps led. That'll be another five points. Oh my god.
Yeah, something's up with my left stick. I'm not liking it. There we go. Right in that blue, baby! Dixieland! Not to be confused with uh, TNA Dixieland, by the way, for any wrestling fans watching this. I am not taking chances now. The yellow flag didn't fly at all in this one. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing no major wrecks. The Coca-Cola car was the car to beat all race long. Doesn't get much better than that. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory. I almost, I almost fucked that up. That was fucking crazy. I'm shocked I saved that, bro. That's serious. I won! Yay! Am I gonna do the soda thing or are you not doing it? There we go! Yay! 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 All right, so from here, I'm actually going to go and hit a standby because I need more soda. So I will be back in a minute. Until then, stand by. Keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me Oh, oh, just let me Doc, keeps ticking like a metronome Ah! I'm back I should probably, um Give me a minute Okay. Pick the swipe. Well, Joe Moore was nowhere near it, but that's fucking funny. There are no pretexts. Do we love it? Yay! 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 
us and we hustle, but we still be getting high. Exception to the rule, do what you do to get by. Doc keeps checking like a metronome. Alright. Race weekend. Atlanta Motor Speedway. This has the different commentary team, right? Moving in a mansion. Let's see. Evans. Baldwin. The hell? It's just weird. There must be like injuries or something in the game. Who knows? It's weird. <sighs> Giving the love tonight. That was easy. I had a song earlier. Did you make that up? I don't think I've ever heard it. Yeah, I just made it up. EA Sports welcomes right. you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the so Bass the Pro Shops right? MBNA 500. Like, uh, I expect to see some exciting action in this one, don't you? The high speeds that can be reached here does make for some exciting racing. There are no restrictor plates to keep them from being able to pass either. It's just all out, good old stock car racing with the best drivers in the business. I can't wait to get this one underway. The Coca-Cola car has a string of top fives going. His team is real excited about their success so far. In fact, I believe they'll have another top five race as long as he keeps the car out of trouble. An impressive average finish huh? for Michael Waltrip. Man, I ain't print nothing. Amazing. And what a charge! What the fuck? The championship that gives him. You don't even need that Wait. many wins if you're. That was the car that was next to him. That was so strange. That was odd, bro. Holy fuck! I'm so confused by season mode sometimes. I think I'm gonna have to actually race. Holy fuck. Gotta leave a lap, like, full on. Whoa. It happened again. Yo, this car setup is really fucking with me. But I can at least drift back in the, uh,. Shit, so that's fine, but what the hell? Keep it. 
Tiny bump on the on the wall there. I'm having really bad handling on my car. I've, I've never encountered this on this track before. Fuck off, Dale. Fuck off. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate like you wouldn't believe. I don't even care if I get a copyright playing the music. Like, I just... Fuck. Oh, boy. This is rough. This is real rough. I'm not sure what's going on. I got both Dales on my ass. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, here we go! Oh boy! God damn it! I'm shocked! I'm shocked! I was able to not get that much damage on my car. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. All right. How many laps do I have? Please tell me I have enough. Yeah, I do. Okay. Use Sterling Marlin's draft here because we're gonna need to. My fucking car sucks handling wise. Holy shit. Made an ally here. Use Jeff Gordon's draft. I know. Ah, oh, no! Sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, fuck. Not what I'm trying to. I'm not trying to bump into his draft here. All right, we're back up front. Jesus Christ, All right. Now I gotta hold him off, which apparently is easier said than done on the setup. Caution, probably, probably due to the skidding I caused earlier. All 
Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, one of his fucking fenders went. You got me fucked up! You fucked me over! I'm fucking pit. Nah, 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 nah. I don't even give a fuck. We're restarting that. That was fucking ridiculous. That was fucking ridiculous. You have got to be fucking kidding me, dude. That was ridiculous. Fuck off. EA Sports. It's in the game. Thank God I'm recording. <laughs> Motherfucker. So clearly that car setup sucks. It's good for qualifying, but that's about it. I'm gonna keep that going for qualifying. Fucking ridiculous. That's unreal. Cause I ain't, I ain't dealing with that. That was fucking AIDS. very least you know what I'm gonna do yeah it's fucking so loose dude holy shit I'm gonna try this happy hour because I'm not convinced that this works yet Right off the fucking bat. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck it, I'm going with default setup. This shit sucks. Default. I'll go two. Seriously, I'd much rather this. Cause that was fucking AIDS. speed here. Doesn't look like I have handling problems so far, really.
No skidding. Nothing of the sort, which is good. Probably gonna be my fastest lap, to be honest. That was a bit fucking rough, that turn. That was so rough that last time. NBA 500. I think we're in for some incredible racing, judging by this track's history. NASCAR doesn't use restricted plates for this track, which is why it's actually one of the fastest tracks in Winston Cup Series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive into the corners. The Coca-Cola car will roll off at the start of this one, having won the last two races. That's got to be a great feeling. I spoke with one of the tire changers on that team this morning. He was standing in victory lane when I saw him, and he assured me they'd be there at the end of this race. God we'll willing. See if that's the case. But with the streak they're on, I wouldn't put it past them. Jamie McMurray really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it really doesn't show in the points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. And yeah, maybe their luck will change today. Things are not going well this year for Ashton Lewis. And boy, is it tough when you're constantly finishing in the back. You start to lose confidence in your team, and more importantly, it's his fucking name. Maybe this race will turn things around hmm. for him. There's Joe Moore again. Joe Moore is up in the front a lot. He's somebody I'm going to watch out for, for sure. Kevin Harvick. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, fuck. I almost careened into the wall again. Fuck. Is this just one of those courses? I forget now. I swear to God, Harvick. I'm going to fucking actually wreck you if you don't get out of my way. I don't even give a fuck. Get out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Let's see what accident happened here. I almost caused an accident just now. Ooh. Oh, that was a big one. That was the big one. Holy shit. That was a big wreck. 
Right at the front stretch. Holy shit. There was a lot of people in that pileup. I'm 174 away from Ricky Rudd. Fuck off! Fuck off! Again? What the hell? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Robbie Gordon's all fucked up. Fuck off! Fuck off! Jeebus crimity! What is with these goddamn cautions? Now on the back stretch. That's another big one, isn't it? That's gotta be. Dude, how many fucking cautions are they gonna be in this race? That was definitely a wreck. Oh my god, Marlin. I'd love to see the rank guy that can. Okay. No. This is actually a tough race, to be honest. Finally, a complete fucking lap? Oh my god, it's a miracle. We're halfway home. We got eight more laps to go. Holy fuck, I drifted a little bit. It's better than what it was before. I can at least handle this. I legitimately can, like, blow through this field, but I haven't had a chance to. Oh, God. And now I got Jeff Burton behind me.
99 car is outside. Number 99 is still there. The 99 car is still there. You're at the point. I intimidated him. Probably gonna be another fucking caution before this is all said and done. Lowest part of the track and drive. I just want to get rid of the rest of the field, really. There we go. There we go. All right, now I'm getting some damn distance. Just keep driving, keep driving. That's better than the fucking way it was driving before. Alright. Hopefully the next two laps are smooth sailing from here. sure were a lot of cautions in this one. Well, it kept the field close, which I'm sure made it extra exciting for the fans. The Coca-Cola car really did a fantastic job of keeping his car away from trouble all race long. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. One. Let me see the damn trophy. That's the celebration. I am noticing a bunch of dead pixels. Like everywhere on this fucking emulation. There was a lot less beforehand. It's a giant bass.
Okay. We gotta hit exit. <laughs> he called. Wow. Let me try something here. You pull apart, so I divide, and I know there's something between us with nothing inside. You pull apart, so I divide, and I know there's something between us with nothing inside. Nothing at all. You pull apart. Okay, hold on. No. Let me just close out the emulation a bit. And now open it again. EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. Now. Eve, I can forget. So for those who don't know, by the way, every time I do one of these, uh, I end it when the music stops, pretty much. So, we're on the hour mark here. So, we're, we got one hour left of this uh, little Let's Play here. Alright. Come on! All right, here we go. I know how to fucking do this one. Maybe not. Oh, fuck. All right, that's not bad. Good. That was pretty good. Styled it. All right, let me um, car set up here. I'm gonna default it, and then. Boom, boom. Actually. Try happy hour here.
I love the way the clouds are all different at the tracks, too. Like, EA really did a bang-up job with the NASCAR Thunder series. Welcome everyone to Coke cars going into the Coca-Cola Victory Day. This is a hometown crowd for a lot of these drivers. A lot of these teams are based in this area, and this is a 2,000 acre dream come true for any NASCAR fan. I don't think there's a bad seat anywhere in this place, and there's always great racing to go along with it. The Coca-Cola car is carrying a win streak with him. You know, people get so concerned with wins. I'll take consistent top fives all year long over a win. Besides, when you are constantly finishing in the top five, a win is just around the corner. How about the consistency shown by Jeff Burton? Yeah, he really turns it up a notch when we come to this type of track. And these speedways can be tricky to get the hang of. He seems to know them all like the back of his hand. Sterling Marlin was making a run for the championship in 2002 before being sidelined by a neck injury. Mark Martin has been the model of consistency since he hooked up with Roush Racing. He qualifies well, he finishes well, and everyone out there on the racetrack respects his skills behind the wheel. Seventy two is right next to me. Kroger Here's Chevrolet. The, starting lineup. the Coca Cola car, the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will be starting from the pole. Starting in row two will be the MM Spore and the Stagger Two Dodge. In row three are the singular wireless Chevrolet and the Home Depot Chevrolet. In row four are the Altel Dodge and the MBNA Ford. Rounding out the top ten starting spots are the Motorcraft Ford and the DuPont Chevrolet. This is good cruising music, man. Shout out, Montage Rock.
pretty good. Something's got me thinking. Got a little bit rough there. That was rough. But I'll be alright. That was not okay. Get on to the lowest part here. Without having to fucking fuck it up here. There we go. On my speed. I am fucking pulling away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Fuck you all. You can't catch me in the fucking gingerbread men. Fuck all of you! Eat my O'Reilly Auto Parts! <laughs> Where the fuck did this come from? I'm not Luca Lucky. Mike can do it better than me. Well, that's fucking hilarious! That wasn't though. Got a little too cocky. Yeah, no shit. Oh, where's the fucking track? Hello. I like to see how far away I am. That's nice. Ah. Oh. There we go. Yeah, look at that drift. Ooh. Oh, that was a quick lap. 
I hope that caught that. That was fucking weird. Yeah, buddy. I'm pulling away. Ryan Newman's trying. But he is not succeeding. It's going pretty well, I would say. My best run on this track, I think, in the game. Two more laps. I am losing a bit of control. I think it's because my tires have skidded a little bit. But I really think like that's probably it. Let's try to beat my original record here. On the speedway. Alright, nope. up front for position those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. i meant to the fucking celebrate really did a fantastic job of ah whatever you get the point anyway i don't need to keep that doing that relief on the old wallet too it costs big money to keep these nascar winston cup cars in tip-top shape week in and week out when you don't damage them on race day they help save a lot of time and money
While this is going on, I'm gonna pee again because holy shit. Those rookies are not doing well in the actual... Like, they do well in qualifying, and then you just don't see them in the top ten at all. Well, I have the fucking audio on. Uh, 92. Okay. Restart. Holy shit, by a whole fucking, damn near a whole second. MRN is here at the Great Southern Tradition, the annual Southern 500 here at the Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? Well, this is an egg-shaped track with different links and different bankings in the east and west turns. That makes it very tough for the drivers. But the question is, why is it egg-shaped? Well, when it was built, the landowner decided he didn't want his minnow farm disturbed, so they simply pinched in the corners of what is now turns three and four to give it the distinctive egg shape that it's now famous for. The Coca-Cola car will roll off the Interesting facts, by the way. Holy shit. That's got to be a great feeling. That is one heck of an accomplishment. His crew has got to be fired up. We should see another great run from him in this one. Kevin Harvick accomplished an incredible feat in 2001. He won the Bush Series championship while competing full-time on the Winston Cup circuit. To race all those miles and be as good as he was is simply amazing. I'm sure the extra track time helped him, but you just get tired racing like that every weekend. Jeff Gordon is currently in the top 10 in points. Yeah, he needs to focus on this race. A poor finish can quickly bounce you out of the top 10, but a win can gain you several positions, might even put you in the top five. We'll see what happens.
Oh, we got a rookie behind me. One oh nine. Is really breaking the rules doing this? I have no idea. I feel like not. I have the smart method to win this. Stay on the same groove. That's what I'm talking about. Nice lap. Yeah, we're fucking sailing away here. Oh my god. I'm flying, holy fuck. Yo, dude. I just left this car in pit road twice. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm destroying the field. Holy shit. I am destroying this fucking field. Twenty-eight, 
Dominated. Holy fuck. I mean, it's not over yet. We still have like six laps to go, but I'm dominating so far. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. You ain't gonna beat me today. First time I ran into the wall race. I guess that car is fucking out of commission. Well, looks like Jimmy Johnson. Killed the race. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Yeah, there weren't too many battles up front for a position. Those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. The Coca-Cola car really did a fantastic job of keeping his car away from trouble all race long. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR and Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. How far was I on rail four? Dude, you could see the back fucking line, bro. Holy fuck. I left them all in the dust. Fucking hell, dude.
killed the competition. I love this tune. Oh, here's a hard track. I have a lot of problems with this one. This should be interesting. Okay. Do this up. We're practically almost done, right? This will probably be the last race of the stream. Yeah. All right, let's qualify. Now see how line. good I do. That was actually a pretty decent turn. That was okay. Let me restart. I think I got the hang of this. good thing because that means I'm riding on that line. Drive. Alright. Only by a few seconds here. What's the default setup on this? Okay. Should be okay. I'm gonna happy hour it. It's always good to double check your turns and shit. Uh, <laughs> um, well. Might be a problem here. Return to pit. Default that shit.
fuck? All right, default setup it. I'm I'm stuck with it now. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What can you tell us about this track, Bonnie? North Carolina is a fast track, considering it's only a mile long. The corners are tricky, though, and getting off them fast is the key to getting speed down the straightaways. The Coca-Cola car has strung together back-to-back -to -back top fives, and I'm sure he'll try for another one. He can sure gain a lot of points if he continues his top five streak. Just goes to show it doesn't always take wins to move up in the points. The Cheerios Dodge is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Nice. Fucking awesome. You know what? Fuck you. We ain't having that. We ain't having that. I don't give a fuck. We're not having that. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Piece of shit. How many minutes on this? Yeah, we got time before this fucking ends. We ain't having that. Bullshit. EA Sports. It's in the game. I'm just sticking with the fucking setup I made. I'm not fucking changing that for a goddamn thing. Like, fuck that. That was ridiculous. I had a good setup going. I should just stick with it, honestly. That was my issue. I thought I needed to change it, and I didn't. First off, my car. Yeah, I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Where's my car set up at? It's literally at the place it should be. Coming to the line, the free flag wave! The clock has started and it's swallowed by the road ahead of the gun. All eyes are on him as he races down the corner. He needs a good lap here to get a good starting position for the race. This is going to be a fucking nightmare of a track. Well, that's my best chance is to ride down the groove. Best shot I got, honestly. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock 
side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Tires, tires, and more tires. You've got to take care of your Goodyear Eagles when you come to this place. Otherwise, you'll be sliding up into the wall before you know it. The Coca-Cola car will roll off at the start of this one, having won the last two races. That's got to be a great feeling. I spoke to one of the tire changers on that team this morning. He was standing in victory lane when I saw him, and he assured me they'd be there at the end of this race. Well, we'll soon see if that's the case, but with the streak they've been on, I wouldn't put it past them. Kenny Wallace really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Now, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. It just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Dale Jarrett has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Bro, my car is so slow. I gotta, I gotta block the whole race. Fuck. It's the straightaways I'm having trouble with. But not the turns. The turns I get a lot of speed, but barely. Compared to Rusty and Sterling, holy fuck! Like I am slow as dog shit. All right. Keep it, keep it going, keep it going. All right. No, I can, I can manage this. I can manage this. Because everybody else is going slow on the first turn, where I'm not because that's like the biggest pain in the ass. So as long as I block, I'm all set. I have a slow as shit car, but. Yeah, I have the right idea.
I'm definitely not the fastest car, but I'm the most efficient. That's what I just noticed. So keep driving. We got this. Just keep driving. I got this. Whoa. Whoa. I had to fucking bump him. I didn't have, I didn't have, I didn't really have a choice. He might try to go after me and gun at me now. Which is not good for my fucking standings on this race. But fuck it. It kept me to lead. <laughs> there we go. Alright, wait a minute. No wonder I wanted to change it, because my speed was way down. them off, hold them off. Good. I got two teammates behind me as well. Alright, cool. I'm definitely gonna win this if I just keep my strategy going. Dude, my eyes are hurting because of this fucking focus I have to do. I'm doing a celebration thing after that. Holy fuck. I like popcorn! Yeah! <laughs> okay. That was a fucking nightmare, guys. That was a fucking nightmare. There weren't very many lead changes. Yeah, there weren't too many battles up front for position. Those guys who ran in the top five were pretty dominant all race long. The Coca-Cola car was the car to beat all race long. Doesn't get much better than that. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory.
That's fucking wild, bro. Oh. Dude, that was a fucking much different race than I'm used to. Because I had to be a slow car and block in order to win. Because, like, trying to be fast on North Carolina is fucking dumb. Like, just be efficient and you got it. North Carolina Speedway is probably one of the harder tracks in the game. Just for that fact alone, really. Well, I mean, I didn't really start too many rivalries, really. Alright, before the music ends, we are going to double-check everything and see where our standings are. And just, who the fuck is in the season? For, for, quite frankly. Oh, good thing I'm in it here, because then we can start off with a bang uh, next episode. So, Bristol 500, or the Sharpie 500 at Bristol. I like that. So, I won all these races, every single one of them. I have done so far a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, no, 8. So, 8 races. I'm ahead by around 300 points. Uh, right behind Ryan Newman, Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kurt Busch, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Gordon, and Sterling Marlin. And the Rounding that out, we got Michael Waltrip, Johnny Benson, Bobby Labonte, Ricky Craven, Matt Kenseth, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, and Elliot Sadler. That's the top 20. Rounding out the bottom here is Jeremy Nadeau, Ward Burton, Robbie Gordon, Joe Nemechek, Jeff Green, Terry Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield, Casey Mears, Steve Park, and Jamie McMurray. Rounding out the bottom of that is Kenny Wallace, Kyle Petty, Christian, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, Hermie Sadler, Ashton Lewis, Greg Biffle, Stanton Barrett, David Green, Chase Montgomery, Jack Sprague, Kevin Grubb, Joe Moore, Andy Armstrong, David Dunn, Pete Nelson, um, Tim Wagner, Jeff J.R. Jones, Winston Kelly, uh, Ray Parker, Joe Lawton, Doug Ferguson, Ben Baldwin, and that's it. So this is these are all the new cars. I guess they just substitute if a driver goes down. Huh. Fuck it. I don't know. Um, so there's a lot of different car uh, cars here. I got 24 in Jeff Gordon, 23 in Kenny Wallace. Awards. Let's see what we got here. Starting from Daytona, I got pole award and front runner. Uh, I got front runner. I got pole award, front runner, and fast pace. I got pole award, uh, pole award front runner, and fast pace. Joe Moore got rookie of the race. Nice. Um, yeah, Joe Moore is getting up there. He's, he's got he's got some good stuff going. Yeah, it, this is doing pretty good. So yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, rookie of the year with Joe, Joe Moore, 210 points. Everybody else is like down below. These are all the rookies, apparently. Robbie Gordon has got one pole. I got seven. 
Chevy is dominating the uh, manufacturer. Uh, we got lap champions. So I got 106 laps over everybody else. I think that's all we can really do, right? I want to see if I can change my paint scheme. Why does that look nice? I like the I like the style of this. Really do, yeah, fuck. I like it. I like it, I like it. I just want to make sure the before we end because the this is the last song on the thing. I just want to make sure the circle is... Almost, almost. I think... Yeah, that's about as good as I'll get it. Cool. So, yeah. That ends that. And, uh, yeah. With that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will call it a stream. After changing my car a little bit. I think we'll call it a stream there, everyone, as I change my car a bit. And, yeah. Until next time, we will see you on the next Bet Mashers. Keep on mashing. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. And we will see you next time.